Sugar and beef cattle have long been agricultural mainstays in parishes that make up Louisiana's southwestern coast. So it was natural that the LSU Ag Center Iberia Research Station, located along the winding Bayou Tesh, would focus on those two commodities. Sugarcane research has an emphasis on varieties suited for the region. My role is to take those experimental clones that uh, the breeding program develops, plant them in as many production environments as we can and see which ones fit uh, in our soil type, on our soil types. Much of this research is conducted off the station, but about 50 acres on site are dedicated to sugarcane research. The rest of the 500 acre station is in pastures, where scientists have several studies on beef cattle. Guillermo Scaglia is looking at producing cattle that reach 1,100 pounds, around 17 to 19 months of age, on a diet of only forage. I'm evaluating three different uh, forage systems uh, through the year in order for them to uh, get to those, uh, to those weights. Scaglia also is studying the grazing behaviors of cattle on pastures with or without clovers and looking at the difference between herds that are raised using many resources and herds raised with fewer resources. Louisiana's climate can be hard on cattle. Other research involves crossbreeding cattle to evaluate the suitability of tropically adapted breeds to the state. We have year-round forage supply, so that's a plus. But the heat, the humidity, and the pest means that we need an animal that is particularly suited for that environment. And that's what this research is really about. The station conducts minor work on other crops such as soybeans and wheat but recently has added studies with the biofuel crops, energy cane, and sweet sorghum.